Hi, I'm Reba Hervis, Artistic Director at Overshadowed Theatrical Productions. Welcome to this week's episode, From the Wings. Today, sitting in the hot seat with me is Margaret Sally, who is one of our best costumers oh, that we have. Man. So we had the wonderful privilege this past Sunday to go see the Buddy Holly story, which is now showing at Marriott Lincolnshire um, Theater. And it is playing until August the 13th. And at the end of this review, we'll tell you whether that means you should go get your tickets or whether you should stay away. So did you feel like it was a play, a concert, or like showcase? Like what did you feel? feel like the whole experience was like? Um, a, a show like going to a concert, hearing the songs that I always grew yeah. up with, um, and kind of a documentary about what Buddy Holly yeah. did in the 18 months he was popular. For those of you who don't know, Buddy Holly died tragically in a plane crash along with the Big Bopper and Richie Valens, who was right. only 17 years old and right. was only 18 months sorry, eight months into his career. He, you may not know him, but he did La Bamba. Mm -hmm. That's his um, song to fame. Um, but prolifically, did I say that word right? I'm I really so. having a hard time today. Prolifically, um, Buddy Holly, even though he was only popular for like two years into his career, from, from the years 1957 to 1958, he had seven songs that were on the top 40. I mean, this guy was like cranking, Incredible. Incredible. cranking out music, such as um, That'll Be the Day That I Die, and your favorite one that you were singing in my ear, Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue. <laughs> Only because that was my name yeah. in that, that pretty, year. Pretty, 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 yeah. Peggy Sue. Those were probably the two that I think of when I think of Buddy Holly. But how many more might he have written if he oh, had lived goodness. a normal life? What I thought was, first of all, I think the guy who played him, Kernan McCabe, was phenomenal, Very like good. phenomenal. And if you've never been to the Marriott Theater, it's kind of theater in the round. Mm -hmm. You can sit on all four sides of it. And so they, in their blocking and everything, they kind of turn you, do the actors turn around and you get to see, sometimes you're watching their back and you're seeing strings. Again, I said she was a costumer, right? So there was a hymn out of one of their their jackets and she's like that's driving me crazy but you can see the hem falling out and then he turned the other way and she goes like now all i can see is the string <laughs> but that's what makes her so great so that was a little surprising first of all that marriott would have that happen Absolutely. on their stage oh, yeah. but you know who knows what happened right before they went out and they pulled a string and it made another one you know who knows who knows right but um when somebody is facing with their backside towards you you see things that you don't see if you're on a traditional stage that you only see their front all the Absolutely. time but um i thought the costumes were great other than that and we uh -huh. especially really liked their shoes that they had in one of the scenes because they had these like studded shoes on their high yep. heels and everything they were so beautiful but the most amazing thing to me is that every person in the whole cast played an instrument. And some, several. It was some crazy. More than yes, so absolutely. they were switching around. So the guy who, Kernan McCabe, who played Buddy Holly at times was playing the guitar. At times he was playing the piano. Sometimes mm -hmm. he played the drums. And other people were doing the same thing where they were switching from um, a cello or a bass to um, a trumpet or a violin or a saxophone. This cast was amazing, which is why I asked you whether you felt like it was more like a concert or like an an acting actual musical and because I thought the music was phenomenal. It, it, it absolutely was and yeah. I was amazed too at the quality of uh, the talent in those actors yeah. as they've moved instrument to instrument. Yeah. yeah. The, the story itself was only a hundred minutes long and I so they didn't have an intermission which I thought was perfect yeah. for this story. Yeah. Um, if I needed to be critical about anything I would say that I felt much more like it was music instead of the story even though the people on stage did a wonderful job telling the mm -hmm. story I think I wished that the actual script had had a little bit more meat to it I agree I absolutely agree yeah and we didn't hear much from his wife and and her input 
Yeah. Um, I think I, they, I wish they had made a bigger deal about the fact that she was begging him not to fly and right. not get on the plane and making a bigger deal out of that. And also a little bit more about her reaction after he died. Basically, they just said, he right. died. And right. That, and that was and it. That was kind of the end of it. Like, they were at the concert, well, spoiler alert, they were at the concert. They were, he called his wife to tell her, and she wasn't even... She was, they didn't even have her on stage at that particular point because she had become part of the ensemble and she was playing the trumpet for one of the songs. And so we didn't even get to hear the conversation between the two of them, which I right. think would have been really more dramatic for us to have heard her say, no, you promised me that you weren't going to go. Um, look that up. We won't tell you what happened on that because it is a little bit of a spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. I think historically we all know he died. You don't know necessarily the, the facts about it. But, of course, just like all historical fiction or things that I read, I, we instantly got in the car and we were all Googling of, it up. You know, what really happened here. And she was pregnant. Okay, so their love story is really great. And I think I would have loved a little bit more of that. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I would have liked that conversation between her yeah. and yeah, yeah, just but even building it, it's like, it, you know, he walks in, she works at the recording studio, he asks her out, they get married, like literally a couple months after that, and maybe, I mean, he asked her to marry him right away, but I, Five hours. you know, they ended up getting married a couple months after that, I think. Two weeks. Two weeks, is that what it was? Right. And they talked, they went out for the yeah. day and, and yeah. waited five hours and he proposed and they married Which I think years. is, I mean... If, if they had had enough character development in the script, right. I, because I think he could have done it. I think it did, they just didn't give us that opportunity to, to right. see the growth of that. But I think that would have made such a more of an um, impact on me as an audience member to get right. to know him a little bit better. As and, a person, not just yes, a musician. Yes, yes. And to see that relationship of what, if girls are throwing themselves at him. Okay, first of all, Buddy Holly, if you see pictures of him, he's a little bit nerdy, Right. And wouldn't take his glasses off. This guy was not nerdy. No. He was uh, cute as a button. And I think for me, a little bit, it's like, well, of course some girl's going to marry him when he comes in. He's Buddy Holly. He's rich and famous. And, the, and he's got all this money. And he's cute, too, mm -hmm. on top of it. So I think that was a little bit of a disservice to us uh, as far as that character development. Yeah. But it would have been a little bit more you know, meaningful if we'd gotten to know who he really was. Well, she didn't right. even recognize yes. him when he came in. Right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. So, which is also interesting. But anyway, that being beside the story, um, I think it's interesting. The other things that are interesting about Buddy Holly is that do you know that he was 18 and his very first public big performance was that he opened for Elvis Presley? Oh, no, I didn't know that. They didn't say that in the that play That would have either. been interesting in the play, Absolutely. right? It would have been great to know that, okay, this is the reason he was so influenced by Elvis. Sure. And became really kind of confident because he actually was trained by somebody who was really big at the time. And after appearing three or four times for Elvis Presley, he was like, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. People yeah. like my music, and I think that would have been an interesting part of the story to add to Buddy Holly. So even though he had a, such a short life, there was way more they could have done. So I don't think it's Marriott's production that I think was lacking. I think the actual lack comes in what they had to work with. Exactly, mm -hmm. the script itself. So, Margaret, I don't know. I think people might want to hear from you because, like, okay, what does the everyman think? So... What do you think, Margaret? Well, one of my takeaways, and this has almost nothing to do with the play itself, was that as the three of us talked about it, you know, on the way home and whatnot, or the four of us, I talked about oh costume yes. irregularities. M Mike talked about the lights and the <laughs> and the structure, and then you had things to say about the play itself, the writing, the singing, the music, and all the rest of those things that you would notice. And Dawn said, man, I just watched the play and loved it. It was great. <laughs> because she wasn't involved in yeah. anything. So the different views is... It is interesting, right? It's like what, what lens you're looking at it from. Exactly. And I think that, that we do that in our life all the time. And, and for just a moment, I thought, oh, I wonder what it would be like to be Dawn and get to just go someplace and just plain enjoy it like probably most of you guys do right absolutely i so, kind of yeah. miss that because yeah. i did that for years and years until yeah. i taught it started yeah. doing costumes for you and now yeah. all of a sudden i notice yeah so my negative is that the mention a couple of times about the the 
relation, physical relationships and the emphasis on it, mm -hmm. you know, to me made it not a G production. So probably a PG-13. There was very little language, but some topics were a little bit more mm, They did get colored. married though. So for me, I think I have, I cannot give it a G rating. It has to be PG-13 because of a couple of things like that. Yeah, I agree. And I also, I, I think it's a uh, generational thing too, because I think a lot of kids don't, don't remember that music, haven't mm -hmm. heard that music, and certainly yeah. haven't heard Buddy Holly, you know, for yep. tea. Yeah, so, right, um, right. So I think there was an older audience would appreciate it more than say, yeah, I agree. One. And literally the last couple minutes is just song after song after song, and they're changing instruments and dancing around the stage. And huh. Right, right. I'd love to see you guys go out right now and get tickets and be have such a demand that they hold the show over because it should be. It's It's great. Two thumbs way up. You guys go out and get your tickets to Marriott Lincolnshire's version of the Buddy Holly story and let us know what you think of it. Until next time, this is just me. And me. Talking to you from, from the, the wings. wings.